All right, beep, let's do this. LU, salute you, post workout, almost on a daily, bro. Jay Cutler, back in the day, most muscular pose, a sight to be absolutely uh, saluted. He looked tight. That picture was absolutely on par. Uh, you know what? Uh, Phil Heath commented on one of these old school uh, pictures, not this one in particular, but you know, one of the old school pictures. He said, bro, Probably the pictures back then looked that much better. The, the quality of the, 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 the photos were just superior. And quite frankly, I don't agree with that. I, I think that genuinely back in the day, uh, the quality of the muscle that these guys were bringing was just that much better, that much better. In this picture here, uh, Mr. J. Cutler was under the belt, rolling under the belt of Mr. Chris Aceto. When I was a kid, I was reading basically uh, articles made uh, by this guy so his nickname on social media is the real technician he is rolling with a lot of guys as you guys can see back in the day he was training uh, uh, Jay Cutler this was in 2004 uh, he was just look he said crazy wacky density it was probably 290 pounds here I mean the density the quality of the muscle was just that good as a testament Look at him, he's, he's training this guy. This guy technically is not even a bodybuilder. This is my friend, Arash. He is a Persian guy. He is a classic physique guy. He will probably do classic physique guy. But look at the quality, the quality of the muscle. To be noted, uh, the last picture of Mr. Chris Asito is this one. He said, bro, we are all camels now. He's talking about his, his crew in a sense. This is Cedric McMillan. And, uh, you know, all, all the rest, uh, Cody Montgomery here, uh, you see here Sean Rodden, and so on, and, and so forth, right? Uh, the Camel Crew is the Kuwait uh, crew. He is really posting about Kuwait. You can see a, a video of Arnold also in Kuwait here. Let's take a look at it. Right. You guys can see it was reshared from Badr Budai. Badr Budai is somehow the godfather. He has tremendous amount of gyms there. Oxygen gym in Kuwait where Big Ramy trains, where Bubander, Rolly Winkler trains. And right now, uh, you know, the real technician is calling himself a, a camel crew, which was basically uh, kind of a, not, well, probably a derogatory term started by Dennis James. Basically, as you know, as you guys know, Dennis James is no longer in good terms with the Kuwaiti guys because, you know, uh, in my opinion, he has no longer big Ramy under his belt. But look at the quality of the muscle that uh, Mr. Uh, Chris Asito is bringing. This is a guy, his name is Sas Hayarati. He is also uh, a, a, a Persian. Look at the freaking quality of the muscle. 90s, baby, please, all over again. Also under his belt, my friend, fellow Canadian, is like my son, 22-year-old, young, new IFBP uh, pro, absolutely to be salute. His name is uh, Regan Grimes from here, from Ontario, uh, Cody uh, Montgomery. So all these guys are pretty much under his belt, and I don't know, maybe he's uh, basically giving them the proper chicken from Kuwait, uh, as well. You remember this picture right here of Mr. J. Cutler? It absolutely reminds me of one picture uh, real quick. This guy here, also from Kuwait. Look, Ahmed Wardani. He's not even on. He's not even uh, basically dialed in yet. Look at the very quality, quality of the muscle. Absolutely proper, proper, proper. I mean, not busy, not overdone. And there's no overkill, bubble gut, not even once just good balanced physique and guess what as i said he is in in kuwait but guess who is in kuwait as well the one and only boo bander posted this picture exactly half an hour ago and this is his trainer ahmed askar he said bro he's about 77 percent uh he's not dialed in yet he will compete in in a few weeks but look at the bees i mean he saturates the damn freaking pose. And you guys remember, this is Boo Bunder. He was the title holder of the Bubble Bubble Trouble Gut Bonanza, for God's sake. This guy was losing 
to branch warren mainly because of the free roaming bubble bubble trouble double gut bonanza trouble got lucky belly dancer no, look at him now bubble gut not even once he fixed it the quality of the muscle is just that pure so that's what's up so what's up with kuwait you know what the secret is no secret the secret is the chicken and the creatine they have there is just that pure it is the real quality a lot of you american guys when i talk to you on social media you tell me bro up there in canada the quality is better of your chicken i say yeah granted but even over here it is shitty it is not the real thing a lot of guys gym rats they take stuff they don't even know what they're taking they wind up with with, with severe acne freaking bloated the, the, the watery uh, all kind of side effects on a daily basis uh, baby please over there on Kuwait, when you go by the real thing, give me creatine monohydrate. It gives you the freaking pure uh, micronized creatine monohydrate out of Germany on a daily, bro. So that's what's up, right? This is the only thing they have. That's why they're bringing these quality of the muscle. As a matter of fact, I was talking on the phone yesterday with, with Mr. Kevin Levroni. And we spoke briefly about uh, Kuwait. And he said, bro, indeed, the quality that these guys are bringing it is that much better it is that much better so the, the fiber looks better and you know what uh it is just safer if you take the chicken from there probably it is safer because you know what you're taking and uh it is uh not freaking doctored in a freaking hot tub uh that's what's up uh that's the only reason that's the only reason they don't have better equipment or apparatuses baby please than you guys that's what's up i salute you whatever you is tell me what time it is bro